How to add Bitcoin to MetaMask Wallet. Hey guys, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can add the Bitcoin uh, token into our MetaMask account. That would be our MetaMask wallet. So first of all, guys, you need to know that I'm using my computer. So I'm using a browser called Chrome and I have a MetaMask extension right in here. If you haven't added your MetaMask extension into your browser, you just need to tap into MetaMask within Google Chrome. And now that you are in here, you want to add it where it says download now and you use the supported browsers. That would be your favorite one. And after you've done that, we can proceed. Uh, what you guys want to do is to do one of two things. So the first thing is to have the smart chain network. In this case, I have it already uh, imported here, but if you haven't uh, find this smart chain yet, you just can go into um, academy.binance.com and look for the connection metamask to Binance smart chain, which in that case, you want to scroll down and find this information. And that would be just as easy as to copy this information and paste it and paste it. I'm going to show you where you're going to paste it. You're going to go into, you're going to go into MetaMask. You're going to select your networks, you go into add network and you're going to paste the information that we just saw in the block in here. Then you tap on save and that's how you add the smart chain into your MetaMask wallets. So now that we have the smart chain network, what we want to do is to buy B and V. And then what we want to do is to swap the V and V into Bitcoins. So first of all, I'm going to select my, my token. I'm going to go into buy. And this one says to interact with the centralized application, we need uh, V and V in our wallet. So in this case, this one is compatible with Transac. So this one, it runs with my country, which is Mexico. So I'm going to go into continue to Transac and it's going to send me into their own website so it's going to say that what i have to pay in my local uh, token my payment method and what i'm going to receive so once we finish that what you guys want to do is to import the bitcoin into the smart chain network which in this case that would be this one but if you don't see this one you just need to scroll down where it says import tokens and this information we're going to find it so once you are in coin market cap, you want to go and select search. I want to select Bitcoin V because this is the crypto asset that works with the smart chain. So I'm going to select this one and you're going to see something like this. And now you want to scroll down and select the one that says more. You either can copy this information and paste it where I just showed you a few seconds ago about the import token or you just select this one that says add to MetaMask and it's going to be popping a MetaMask notification which you just need to go and add the token. Now, uh, I want to go and select my MetaMask and select my token that I just bought and I want to select swap. Now, after that, I select this one, I'm going to select how many tokens I'm going to be sending and I want to select the Bitcoin. So this one right here. So the last thing you want to do guys is to select the one that says review the swap. This won't take more than five minutes. This is the fee that's going to be costing us the estimate fee. We need to have a little bit of BMV. In that case, we just, in that case, we just bought those tokens and you just select on swap. The best and optimate way to buy cryptos for our MetaMask wallet is by selecting this icon that says buy. So there you have it guys. It wasn't that hard for us. Leave your comments down below just in case you have any questions or something related. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one.